Hi, this is Jerry with TV Oil. Today we'll be practicing most future tenses, such as future simple, be going to, future continuous, future perfect, and also some present tenses used with future reference, the present simple and the present continuous. I really hope you find this video useful. Let's get started. In this exercise, take your time to choose the correct answer. Then we're going to check them in detail. We use the present simple for future events that are scheduled or timetabled. In affirmative statements, the verb is in present form. The first bus leaves at 6 a.m. tomorrow. The correct answer is letter B. I'll give you another example. Next Wednesday at 9 a.m. there's a math exam. The future simple can be used for decisions that we take at the moment of speaking, for promises and refusals. After the auxiliary will, in affirmative statements, the verb in simple form is used. The doorbell is ringing. I'll get it. The correct answer is letter C. I'll give you another example. I won't leave until I talk to your boss. We can also use the future continuous instead of the present continuous for future events that have already been planned or decided. After will plus be, the verb in present participle form is used. Next week, we'll be having a party. Can you come? The correct answer is letter A. Another example. I'll be picking John up at the airport next Tuesday. We can use the present continuous to describe an action or event in the future, which has already been planned or prepared. After the verb being present, am, is, are, we use the verb in present participle form. My brother is coming over tonight. The correct answer is letter C. Another example, Ernest and Susan are going on holiday this Friday. As you already know, in sentence number three, the future continuous is used for future arrangements. In this sentence, however, the emphasis is on the action in progress at a particular moment in the future. You should not phone between 4 and 5 p.m. I'll be talking to my boss. The correct answer is letter A. I'll give you another example. This time next week, I'll be sunbathing. The future perfect is used for actions that will be finished before a specific future time. After will plus have, we use the past participle form of the verb. By this time next year, my daughter will have graduated. The correct answer is letter B. I'll give you another example. By the time you read this, I will have left. As you already know, in sentence number two, the future simple is used for decisions that we take at the moment of speaking, for promises and refusals. It can also be used to express predictions and requests. Who do you think will win the legislative elections next year? The correct answer is letter C. I'll give you a request example. Will you open the door, please? The idiomatic future be going to can be used for imminent actions when something is likely to happen. After am, is, are, plus going to, the verb in its simple form is used. The sky is quite dark. For sure, it's going to rain this evening. The correct answer is letter A. There is very little difference between the present continuous and the idiomatic future be going to. When there is a difference, the present continuous emphasizes the fact that we have already decided a place and or the time. It is a fixed arrangement. Be going to emphasizes someone's intention to do something. 
I'll give you an example. I'm going to ask Hilda to marry me. It is my intention to marry her. The present simple is used in subordinate clauses introduced by words like as soon as, before, after, when, if, until, unless. It can also be used by other expressions like once, immediately, the moment, the minute, the day, by the time, etc. Don't worry, she'll be notified the minute her order arrives. The correct answer is letter B. I'll give you another example. Before the first lesson begins, I'll share the PDF files with you. That's it for this lesson, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you.